everyone, it's Anne with your angel reading for the week of the 22nd of November. This is the reading for Libra, and I'm really happy to say I'm using my brand new teacup tarot deck for the first time. So let's get on with your angel homework for the coming week. And your overall energy is the page of wands. And this card brings with it messages of new projects, creativity, new ideas, all sorts of things finding you. And if we look at the angel here, look, she's got all these envelopes that are flying in towards her. And each one of those has a new idea in it. It's ideas for new creative projects, new ways forward. This is absolutely full of information for you. So stay awake this week for these lovely new messages of new things coming in to find you. Your hurdle to hop over or your help. The King of Teacups card is the card of loving kindness, of compassion. The energy that this card brings along with it is one of charity, of help. The king cards are cards of authority. So the king of teacups would be there helping you with your emotional well-being. He would help or she would help with um, how you're feeling. They would make sure you were well looked after. And principally with this card, it is the card of generosity, compassion and kindness. So use those in all your dealings with others this week. And also be ready to receive them. There could be somebody bringing all those qualities in to help you. Your guidance is the dreamer card, the first card in the deck. This is the leap of faith card. It's the what are you waiting for? And if we look at the angel here, look, she's opening the doors. She's ready to step through and follow her dreams and her new plans. Her bags are packed already and she's ready to go. So this card talks about taking a leap of faith, new opportunities coming in for you, chances to do new things that you haven't perhaps done before. So not only are they on the way, but the dreamer card asks you to take those first steps towards them. Look at the angel. She's stepping through the door. How can we help ourselves? The Knight of Coins card is a card of getting organized and planning. Now, usually when the Knight cards come in, they come in in a rush. There's a lot of energy. The other three knights in the deck are all riding their motorbikes, but not the knight of coins because she's looking at the map. She's planning. She's getting organized. She's not in a massive rush because she's making sure that when she makes her move, everything is in place. Solid plans are in place. And that's what you can be mindful of this week. Pulling it all together, we have another king card. We've had the king of teacups. Now we've got the king of wands. Now the king of wands is a very strong energy. It's an energy of, yes, you can. You can do it. He's extremely successful. He's extremely motivated. Very, very good at what he does. A real leader because he knows what he wants, he knows what he needs to do to get the success that he's after and he's Mr. Action. He will take all those steps to get the success that he needs. So two very strong energies there, kindness, compassion, and going for it, working, optimism, positivity, and taking action. And your outcome card, the four of teacups is a mindfulness card for you. And it reminds you to step back and look at the whole picture. Look at the bigger picture, because there may be something that you're missing. And look at the angel here. She's focusing on these three little spilt teacups in the distance. But right behind her, 
is a beautiful brand new teacup full of tea and a teapot full of tea. This absolutely golden opportunity is right there, but she needs to turn around to see it. So take a look, take a step back, refocus, look at the whole picture and make sure that you've got all of the information that you need. There might be something that you're missing that you can find out this week. So just to summarize, new opportunities, new creative projects, new ideas coming in to find you. Love, kindness and compassion and generosity are here for you and use those qualities when dealing with others yourself. Be ready to step forward with those lovely new opportunities. Get ready to take those first action steps. Make a detailed plan first. Success is here for you. Motivation, determination, success is right there. And make sure that you've got all the details you need. Look at the bigger picture, look at the long term and make sure you're seeing all those opportunities which are right here for you. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. If you have, click that subscribe button, make the bell ring, then you'll get notified when I do the next one for you. So take care now and I'll see you soon.